evening to you all. My name is Kamukhelo Molobia and I am very pleased to have been invited to this very progressive um, season nine colloquium on translation. Uh, today I present my very critical reflections um, on the emergence and confluence of Afro music and Afro dance with a paper that is titled Translating the Afrobeat from Pulse to Impulse, a Chronicle of the Yenos. The identities of black cultures are intricately intertwined through the experiences and narratives of the self, um, constructed alongside relations with other cultures, environments, socio-political contexts um, that really allow us to concentrate on the Kong Kong Ping Ping, Kong Kong Ting Ting. Now, these constructs position black bodies as knowledge producers, utilizing arts-based practices to encourage embodied ways of knowing. In addition, embodied practices are mirrored in how black bodies um, create artistic work from a really organic, and natural and authentic impulse towards African rhythms to develop what we now come to know as Afro dance and Afro music. 
um, in a work that I recently watched titled uh, True, the, the collective of black artists really embodied the spirit of the contemporary rainbow nation. Um, and they really located themselves in what they called a rukuchu. Now, here of course I need to lean on Peggy Phelan, who speaks about the anthology of performance as a lived and present moment, experienced in the now, in the disappearing moments. And as I close my eyes and really think back to that truly authentic African performance, I am struck by how they were evoking the spirit of the Zekete. It was at this point that the audience was really captured and in awe of the black body's talents that the DJ really thrust us into moments and times of Jaiva your damn shit. So, of course, African dances and African songs always had some kind of shaman drum in them. And as the DJ was playing the shamanistic drum, the DJ started to ask the audience in a true storytelling tradition, are you ready? We want to party. Let me hear you say, DJ, we want to party. Say, DJ, we want to Now, exhibit A. Exhibit A, the beautifully trained black female dancer who then stands in first position and goes into the classic ball show for us. Really showcasing her skills with the traditional undulations and convulsions that black bodies go into all the time. And throwing us back into those moments of these convulsions. Now we can always see that black bodies are free and liberated. Which is why they took us back to Namchas and Zumlando. Umlando. 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 Yes, yes. Umlando, yes. Oh. Hey, black dancers. Yes. So, in Africa, truly what we can really see is, is that music and dance and dance itself are an indivisible whole. It reminds me of the Inlamu dance step, which is colloquially known as Ngao Tempela. Uh, and how these Nguni people dance all the time. <sighs> Exhibit B, I'm a 2000, and the energy, really, I'm a 2000 allow us to understand that the notation of the voice is not to be taken literally, but that sometimes it becomes really expressive in words that are ungoverned, such as Rabaribetepe, Rabaribetepe, Fire, Rabaribetepe, 
Rapati PTP. Fire. Repete PTP. Rapati PTP. Fire. Repete PTP. Rapati PTP. Fire. And so, in conclusion, it is clear that the songs project a kind of individual and collective identity with ideologies and histories that establish back bodies and ways of knowing. As we have seen through DJ Anati and Dancer Zabuji and really Master T on the decks, that, that music and dance through the upper beat is a trek from impulse to pulse and pulse to impulse. And we start to see that there's a, a synthesis in the art between Ama Piano and dance. Thank you very much. Yeah.